Hello everybody and welcome to another Thrill Vice Photography vlog and we are here today for Fright Nights at Fort Park and we're here to hopefully last all the day and get in some of the mazes here at Fort Park. So um, I came, I come pretty much every year uh, to Fright Nights and sometimes get invited by the park but unfortunately due to the uh, restrictions they limited the amount of people that could come this year and uh, I was actually away as well at the time which is a shame. Uh, so yeah, I've come today, um, I'm kind of going to have a look around, spend some time with Ian, the Fort Park guy, uh, for most of the day today. And then later on towards the end of the night, I'm going to kind of try and get some videos and some footage of the new uh, kind of shows that's going on, the new scare mazes, and the scare zones that are also here as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. So far the actual park is pretty quiet today. Uh, there's around about four queues, uh, kind of lines. Uh, of cars in the car park, so we're not really that busy. But obviously, with fight nights, it's all about the night time. So it could get a little bit busier later on, towards the end of the day. So, but we'll see. It builds up the anticipation a little bit more you know, when it's a busier day. Uh, but I'd love to kind of just, you know, have a bit of a quieter day today uh, to be able to kind of get, you know, kind of some really good footage of some of the shows, some of the scare actors, and that as well. So that's the plan. So here we go, guys. I am standing right behind the Intamin launch coaster Stealth, the second tallest coaster in the UK, just behind Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the big one. Um, so yeah, this is my first ride of the day today. I'm going to meet Ian here. Ian's already in the park. I was a little bit late due to traffic. Uh, but So the plan is now to get on and join him on the ride on Stealth, 0 to 80 in 2.8 seconds, or 2.3 seconds, should I say. fantastic ride there on stealth after we waited around about 10 to 15 minutes for the actual uh, ride to come up again we had a breakdown had a bit of a slow country didn't it <laughs> something like that anyway i've caught up with ian the fort park guy no, and steph, no. steph rocking the thrill rise photography top don't show the one underneath because <laughs> we do not want to see any and we'll leave yes we'll leave that right there um so yeah we just walked over now to swarm uh, which later on after three o'clock today uh, turns into the scare, main, uh, scare zone so I'm looking forward to doing that later on around one of my favourite areas here at the park so yeah, next up for us will be the B&M Wing Coaster and it's literally walk on again such a quiet day here at Fort Park as well I'm so glad that I came today to kind of experience a little bit of the bright night event uh, why it is quiet um, here we go then guys the B&M Wing Coaster Swarm Just like that, we went on swarm on both sides of the train. So we actually went on the uh, the right side first of all, which I do enjoy. I don't mind it going on there, back row. Uh, and then we kind of went round again to then go on to the uh, left side, which is my favourite preferred kind of choice there as well. So let's just find out what uh, Steph thought of uh, the ride on Smell. <laughs> How was your ride? What were you doing behind the camera then? I was dancing. Bear with me, bear with me. I've got a zoom in action going on here. What were you doing? I was dancing. No, 
place. What was your dancing to? Let's go round again. Let's you said about yes. Us going around again on tour. Yeah. I, I put the dance there. You definitely did that. And how was your ride on? Uh, on love tour. Tour's the best ride. Love yeah, it. isn't it? Yeah, do love it. Um, back rows both times. Yeah. Love it. Can't yeah, he's it. just fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Now Ian's got a different stance. So Ian. So what do you actually think? No, 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 yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So what do you um what do you think of uh, the best ride at the park? Which one do you reckon it is? Best ride? Uh, obviously Swarm, isn't it? Nah, Nemesis. He's swarm. Nemesis uh, swarm. Stealth. Stealth. Stealth or Nemesis? Nemesis. Really? Awesome. And, oh are you joking I me? I do like right, anyway, see you later. I can't believe you just said that. Well, they're, they're good rides. Yeah, they are good just rides. Because it's the newest. We're I mean, all it's the entitled best. to our own opinion. We are indeed, yeah. We are. I mean, you know, you I like love flying more, fish, to be fair. You like, love fish. The Everyone fish is, loves the fish. The fish is amazing. We can't, maybe we'll treat ourselves and go on the fish later. I think so, definitely. Yeah. Back yeah. row yesterday, so let's see what we can do. And how many laps special did you get yesterday? We got three laps special. Still three laps special. Not one, not two, but three. <laughs> oh my God. She just did it, oh my god, she did it. Anyway, so we are gonna now wait uh, and we're gonna get on um, Colossus. So Colossus at the moment is probably at a 30 minute wait, but we've got no, nothing else really to do at this moment in time. So we're gonna wait the 30 minutes to get on Colossus. Look how cute they look together. Oh, bless them both. Look at them, the only thing they're not doing is holding hands and skipping, bless them, look at them. So cute. Anyway, we'll see you when we get off Colossus. And just like that, we've came off Colossus. I have to say, that's probably one of the best rides that I've had on there. Uh, really, really smooth all the way around. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyable there. We just had something to eat, uh, and uh, the guys wanted KFC, so that's what we've uh, just eaten. And now there's a 25 minute wait for Nemesis Inferno. So the plan is to get onto there. And at a ride, I believe, one of the, uh, the kind of the best kind of invert, really. I've, it just pips it a little bit for me uh, over Nemesis, but then when I go into Nemesis sometimes, it's always the same as well over that way as well. Um, so yeah, kind of yin and yang sometimes, uh, but you can get some fantastic rides on this and I really enjoy it. So next up for us will be the B&M Invert, Nemesis Inferno. an absolutely fantastic ride there on Nemesis Inferno. Um, so we went to the station and we got front row the magical words. Row one please. And we we're like yes we are right in. And uh, yeah oh that was fantastic. Such a great intense ride there. I really really enjoyed it. Probably one of my favourite rides of the day to be fair so far. Absolutely fantastic. Went on Rumba Rapids, the kind of the lazy river here at Fort Park. And uh, yeah, it's quite enjoyable really, just managed to get to do a few posts while, uh, while I was going around there. And then back over now to Swarm. So we're getting to around about uh, half past two now. Uh, so the kind of the scare zones should be opening soon for three o'clock today. So I kind of will be going into kind of uh, scare actor mode. So coming off the rise a little bit and obviously start looking towards what they're doing in the actual scare zones themselves. They're trying to get a lot of footage for you. I've got a light uh, that can go on top of the camera, so I'm going to be using that to try and get a bit more kind of uh, footage for you. Uh, but also at the same time as well, I've got night mode on this camera as well, so we can try that at the same time. Um, but yeah, we should be able to get some really good footage to you so you can see what goes on inside the scare zones and spend as much time as we can being here. Um, so next up for us though, with a 10 minute wait, is small.
so now it's time to say goodbye to Steph and Ian. They are on their way home now, so they say okay, goodbye. Bye. See you later, yeah. guys. It's been a pleasure being with you all day. <laughs> Get your launches back up on Stealth, Ian. Absolutely. And Steph, I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming along today. Yeah, I'll see yeah. you soon, guys. Bye. Bye. Look at them going off together, bless them. Look at them cuties. Bye! So here we are in the new Ben and Jerry's Diner here at Fort Park. It's open officially just today. I'm amazed. I was literally looking on Twitter just a moment ago and then they put a picture on there saying it's open. So I've come running over to have a look around. Just ordered myself a nice little milkshake here. Strawberry cheesecake and baked Alaska. So when I went up to the counter, I said about the ones that I wanted to go for. And uh, there's a Ben and Jerry specialist here. And they basically said, I don't think the flavours are going to really come out as best. So I said, well, I, can't, I want the cheesecake, because that's my favourite. Um, what else would go with it? I'm going to let you pick. And they come up with base Alaska, uh, and it's amazing. It really is. Really nice drink there. So for, for a large one, it's 4 95 with your annual discount, you get it for around about three ninety. Uh, so a um, great deal to be fair there, uh, and it tastes so nice. I could probably get myself another one. Um, so yeah. So where is it? It's um, it's by Stealth. So originally where the uh, fish uh, place used to be, the fish and chips place, they kind of got rid of that theme. They bought the American diner around the area where Stealth is, because that's what the theme of Stealth is. So yeah. You know, it looks better. I'm going to show you around in a second. It looks better. Uh, you know, and kind of got the right theme of what's going on as well. So yeah, really enjoy it. So yeah, so there's a lot, of, a lot more stuff they're going to be doing around the park in terms of the feud and beds, which is going to be a lot better for the actual uh, park itself. Um, which is something that they're planning on doing in the future. I knew this one was coming, um, and it, they've done a really good job of uh, converting it over. So let's quickly show you around.
Okay, so first up was the Animateville High Show. Uh, and yeah, it was fantastic really, wasn't it? Absolutely great dance in there, great music to go along with that as well. And great interaction there by the actors going into the crowds as well. Fantastic there. I really, really enjoyed the Michael Jackson kind of scenes really in there. Some really good stuff. Um, I think kind of half the video will probably be monetized, so I'll kind of try and keep it as best as I can do. Um, but yeah, in terms of the actual music, really good. The actors look absolutely fantastic as well. Um, you know, they've, uh, you know, you've got to wear masks all the way through, so when you are standing in that outside area, uh, you have to stand on spots on the floor as well. So it's a really good, safe way of doing it as well. The actors don't come too close to you, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic dance in there. Really, really uh, liked it. You know, it's a fantastic uh, kind of start to the Friday night event here at Fort Park for me. Uh, so yeah, now we're going to go up and look at the Scream uh, films and then we're going to go around there and have a look and have a seat in there go and chill out for a little bit and see what's got to offer inside of there okay we just finished coming out there of the screenplex cinema and uh it was pretty good actually so uh, they still kind of maintain the kind of the 4d aspect of it you they show two kind of parts of a horror movie um and then they kind of do the interactions with the actual uh the air the seats moving um, all the way through it, which is really good. Um, and then also at the same time, there's also live actors in there that kind of walk around, kind of whisper and kind of interact with the film itself. I really enjoyed it, actually. Um, you know, it's kind of a, a, a different aspect. I've not kind of seen that before, and I thought that was really good at Fort Park to think of something different uh, there. But yeah, like I said, it's kind of took quite a lot of people in there, to be fair. You kind of go in, you have a two-seat uh, distance between uh, you and the other people uh, kind of next to you. Um, and like I said, they kind of are fantastic. There's live actors as you're going around, and obviously when there are jumpy bits, they kind of interact with you and kind of make you a little bit more nervous in there as well. Fantastic addition, I really do. I really like that one. You know, and that was a free attraction as well, so you don't have to pay for that. There's only two, I believe, two paid attractions here now, two actual mazes themselves. Most of the other ones are actually scare areas. So the next up for us is the festival, uh, the Fear Festival of arena which is right behind me so that is the plan now is to go into there and see what interactions and spookiness is inside <laughs>
So a part of having the scare zones around here as well, there's something called the crows who basically can pop up anywhere around the park and just literally just jump on you at any point. Um, so yeah, really lucky to kind of see them just as we're kind of walking through to this swarm area here at Fall Park. Just literally just outside the park area as well and wow they look absolutely fantastic there really do so lots of detail in themselves they just look fantastic as well just the way that they move their kind of finger just to kind of get that uh, kind of itch going as well and anyone that is scared just preying on them and just literally just jumping on them as well absolutely brilliant there uh, and then not breaking out a character as well fantastic uh, so the plan is now is to get into the, uh, the swarm uh, scare maze area and have a look what that looks like um, but I've got high hopes for this because this is like my favourite ride uh, hopefully they've done a really good job in terms of looking after this area and making sure that it's great as well like I said I'm doing all this in the day at the moment I'm going to obviously wait to the area until later on for it to get a little bit darker uh, and kind of experience later because obviously that's when it's going to feel you're going to feel the anticipation and kind of build up uh, you know kind of the uh, the frog night atmosphere here uh, so yeah but at the moment just kind of going through so everyone can see what's going on first of all but so far absolutely fantastic Friday night really enjoying it and there's so much more to come
swarm invasion area and uh, yeah so far uh, not many actors around that area so I've kind of come away from there a little bit and come up to the Am Amityville area uh, and I've also got myself another milkshake uh, this time I've got the cherry I've got the um, uh, cheesecake one as well I think it was um, and the other one was a baked Alaska and it oh it is superb it really is but the, uh, the, the actual daylight's going now, starting to kind of get dark a little bit here. And we're getting some absolutely fantastic photos um, of the actual sky. It's really good day today to get the camera out as well. I've already got my phone with me, uh, but it is taking some fantastic photos for me at the moment. I'm really kind of looking forward to seeing what they actually look like later on once I've edited them. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the actual things as well, it's fantastic. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it here. Um, I'm just going to put that over there. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying it here. Uh, it's been a fantastic event so far, and it, obviously it's not that busy, so the you know the kind of uh, the atmosphere is not there. I think it would be as well, but you know I'm really kind of uh, looking forward to later on, a little bit later on, to see how much better it gets. You know so they're doing a fantastic job. Went back through uh, the kind of festival area. And uh, yeah, some of the actors in there are fantastic. Really good show there as well, the fire show that I put on there earlier on. Uh, it's brilliant, it really is. And it's also a great time to get some night rides in here at uh, Fort Park as well. Just looking now, just going to turn you around. We've got uh, the swarm kind of going up there. Look at the sky. Absolutely fantastic time to be coming uh, to a theme park. Just let that go over. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. It really is. I'm kind of stuck now at the moment, bear with me. Bear with, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna carry on drinking my mouth shake now, uh, and then I'm gonna get on, I'm probably gonna get on a ride to be thinking, unless the show starts and I can obviously film it from another angle. Um, but yeah, so far I'm really impressed with the, uh, the event itself. And uh, they just started to dance, so let's get over there and go and see if I can get some film out of it. through there of Creek Freak 
unchained as well. Uh, so not the kind of the bestest of runs there, so I'm gonna go through a little bit in a bit. Um, but I've kind of checked myself into platform 15. Um, so I was gonna kind of wait really and see what the mazes kind of have to offer, uh, really. But there's no really no queues, so I think it's probably the best time to kind of do it so I can give you kind of my feedback in terms of what I think of it. So I'm gonna go and take a walk through platform 15 on my own because uh, there isn't really much people there waiting so I don't know if they're going to add me to a group or if they would um, kind of set me through on my own I don't know but it's £10 so you have to book that on the actual website itself um, and then you can get like an e-ticket or you can obviously print it off before coming here um, in terms of how long I have to wait um, I literally uh, can get on to the next time slot which is half past six which is what the time is now um, so yeah, that's the plan now. I'm going to put the camera away because I believe that you can't film in mazes, which is fine, I'm happy with that. Um, but uh, I'll let you know when I come out what I think of Platform 15 for 2020. takes this one, I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, Tula, but you all dance fantastically.
last ride of the day. Nemesis Inferno, back row, in the dark. Right? I don't want you out of my sight. You are my heart. Don't listen to this fool. fool. Just looking at your face makes me fool. Ah, enough of this nonsense. You're making me sick and I will snap you, little man, just like a stick. I will trap you down till there's nothing left. You'll be begging me to grant you death. I'll fight for you, my love, until death you Pick a time, a place, and then we can start. I'm not afraid of what you might do to me. In a puff of smoke, I can set us both free. Go now, folks, don't stay around for this fight. I don't want this to ruin your night. Like I was angry at the boys for his scruffle. His feathers really have been ruffled. So go now, folks, leave in peace for Logan no now. I must release. <laughs> Probably be a long vlog today because actually I've got so much footage today. Uh, even the battery symbol's gone down on the camera. It's the first time it's ever gone down when I've been to a theme park. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the day itself, it's absolutely fantastic day here at Fort Park. I've really, really enjoyed it. it. When it was actually daylight, I wasn't kind of feeling it. And as soon as it started to get dark, the atmosphere changed. It just felt so much better. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so in terms of platform 15, because I didn't give my, my review, I had a really bad run through unfortunately, it just wasn't good at all. The timing of the actors were out, um, I didn't get any jumps whatsoever, there was three kids in front of us was playing around, and it was just such a pain really. I kind of started off on my own, they kind of, because of Covid under the uh, groups, you only can go with a certain amount of people, so I managed to kind of just get a group, like literally on my own. Um, and I was walking through and I caught them back up and it was just like they were just playing around, it just kind of ruined it. And obviously, because they were kind of focusing on the people in front, they thought I was the same group and that as well. Bit of a shame really. But in terms of the actual whole experience itself, um, you know, it's been absolutely fantastic. I've really, really enjoyed it. You know, and I've, it's kind of gone up in my expectation in terms of what they've done this year. They've not done everything that they probably wanted to execute, but it's still an absolutely fantastic event. Um, the scare zones are a winner, they really are. I'd like to see them more busy and more shows than I probably saw. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got as many as I could do. The dance-off was brilliant, the dancing was brilliant, the acting was brilliant, the crows were brilliant. So much of it was absolutely fantastic. The fire show was fantastic. It's always great to see a fire show as well. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. It's now nearly half past eight here at Fort Park, and I've been here since like nine. I set off this morning at eight o'clock to get here. Uh, so I've done a nearly a 12 hour day. So my plan is now is to get home, get a Red Bull and get home and uh, sleep for tomorrow. Um, but that is it guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch your ass down the road.